immediately left. scouting out this information. Here's the bomb plant. The rotations will come in. However, on the other side of the map, there is alert coming out from the Omen on GMD. So that will be scouted out immediately by the Yoru from Shanks, but the backhaul L turn push coming out from Gen G is successful. Finds one on the EU, and now it's a four all game. It's like oh, planted. Kusta, Kusta yeah. had a chance to get something there. He got one. Daps trades it back out, drops things down to a 3v3. The spike has been down. Daps tapping it early on, understanding that he has a little bit of crossfire. Wind gets tagged up so bad. He gets pushed in by the Yoru in the hands of Shanks. He's going to get cleaned standing. up, dropping things down to a 1v1. Shanks already managed to get it to half. It's Balancing things out, keeping NRG honest with the rotations, but EU not biting it is already moving back towards A, and so will the spike. So Gen G, after showing presence today, back towards B and back towards A again. They're poised for an A hit now. The Omen, Omen smokes, dark cover does come out. Pipes in heaven, as you mentioned, but Sam rocks steady at short, finds two. Usa trades him out. Now it's a two on four. Gen G needs to put the spike down, Doug. Yeah, I don't. Likes. I don't know if they're going to have an, I don't know that they got it down in time. Yeah, they didn't. The clock right now. At that point, it was just a mop up for Shanks on that Yoru. We haven't seen any cool Yoru plays yet, but he is leading the charge with his frags and, and this one just there. But there's two kills on a Michael and win. I know this is just an eco, but you love to see NRG already fighting confidently at these angles. Doug, and, and certainly you don't want to get too greedy on them, but. If all five of your players are starting the defender's side, you're leading, you know, up 4-0 early on in a game, that bodes well for the rest of this half, to say the least. Yeah, it absolutely does, and especially if you can do so in flawless fashion like that. That early push down B-Long actually got them the Hunter's Fury into the hands of EU. He was one point away, got the ult orb, but the problem is right now, Genji's in a brutal pinch. Shanks on the flank with the Dimensional Drift was able to get behind them and get the opener. Sam gets in on the action as well as Genji are trapped with no room to grow. There's the, uh, the excuse me, the showstopper that's coming out of the hands of Sam. He's going to be able to clean one up as well. Genji's just down. Kakusta, the spike is down. He's going to drop as well. Shanks continues to light up the kill feed and to light up the scoreboard for NRG. And we see, you know, a kill joy and a Sova basically playing retake almost on the bomb site. But the A hit's coming out and Genji finally lands the entries. There's three. There you go. Two for win, one for Michael. And everything that I just said, there it is. Two on five situation, Doug. This might be what Genji needs to get back into the sync room on in a great spot to grab two, but Infinite turns on him, gives him the business, and sends him home packing. Genji still with the numbers advantage. However, NRG does have that lockdown to clear space onto the A site, should Infinite choose to do that. But of course, as I say that, Sean cleans him up, drops things down to just EU. He's been tagged up, 70 health, severely outnumbered. He's gonna drop as well. He wants to go the second time around. The Neural Theft is going to be used as well to expose where everyone is as Mikhail begins to get the plant down. This one's going to be spicy, folks. A 5v4 as the, the vast majority of members for both teams are still alive and they're still available to make something happen. Keep an eye on the pinch. You see members of Genji have already started to work their way away from the site down towards a short and they try to fight things off because they know there it is. The lockdown comes out to create space. They have to respect that. Dabs able to get one on the win as Guman and Sean light things up. Sean goes in for more, but Infinite trades him out. A 3v2 in favor of Genji. Now the lockdown goes down. That's gonna be the Last cue to go as Sam begins to stick to the fuse. Guman gets the first one, not able to get it as GNG gets another one on the board. Work their way all the way up so they know there's not gonna be any pressure coming in from that side. They are relatively safe from that regard, but you've got Gotta keep an eye on Shanks and the rest of NRG as they try to mosey their way in through Hookah. Guimond's gonna get tagged up early on. There's that dimensional drift. Shanks is getting all sorts of information on where the players are. All nice crossfire from EU there. That was absolutely huge as Genji falls apart as the round should go in favor of NRG oh, yet again. Oh no. I Going through A, they already have U-Haul control. They don't have any vision. They don't have any knowledge of what's happening over in showers. So keep a close eye on the two members of NRG just around the corner. Infinite's able to get one, hits him with a little sidestep to see if he gets any info and they continue to work their way onto the site. Genji continuing to take space away. Sean has to come up big here. EU, however, gets that duel. Drops things down to a 3v3 as Infinite continues to push in. He was on the flank the entire time. He catches both of them. He gets a 3k and they're gonna get the defuse. And come back, folks, just enough time to grab a quick refresher, a little bit of water, and get back into the action. And that's exactly where we start. Genji works their way right up 
a short. I love that aggression early on. They're able to get three. Wimon gets the fourth. Dab's the last one standing, but the damage has been done. Genji show that aggression early on, and they put energy in in, in shambles, Lex. Uh, Doug, <laughs> what is your favorite pistol, and why is it the friendly? Oh, hold on. Dash with a rebuttal frag, but GMG cleans it up. That down without being contested at all. Left. So wisely waiting for the rotations to come in is Gen G, and, and this will be a three on two retake, Doug. Yeah, I look, they're trying to clear up, work their way through elbow. EU, the tippy spear, he's going to spot one, but he's going to get caught. He's going to get smacked in the face, and he's going to get taken out. Gen G on the bonus, able to deal with the firepower that NG brought to the gun to the round and are going to take another one. That's going to bridge the gap down to one. Octagon control. So if the if the push comes up be long, as their posture, they should be able to handle it just fine. Mikael's able to get two as members of Genji are still anchored onto the site. NRG's just down to a couple of members of life. Now they could have tellied out, but they drop before he even gets a chance. Mikael with a three piece on the round. It's just down to EU. Flawless at the hands of NR of Gen G, excuse Crash is gonna work his way up to give them some U-Haul control, but Mikael with the Hunter's Fury, trying to get some, he is able to tag up one as infinite drops, numbers advantage in favor of Gen G. Shadow step away instead. Enemy tag. Trading frags out in front of showers. Win is just continuing to be this major nuisance in the A push, right? Like wow. even with Daps in heaven, there's just no way to get the spike down decisively without EU shutting him down with a headshot, Doug. Yeah, you yeah. Think that's, that's curse again, man. <laughs> you are like 0 for 3 there. Genji with the numbers advantage, and it continues to pile on. Sean uses a showstopper to get another one. Sam trades one out. But Mikael puts... It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. But regardless of whether or not we're being critical of it, I just was like, I don't know what I'd think in that, in that situation as a player, but here we are. Sam onto it's Sean. On raise on raise. 4v4 now. Oh, so the spike is the spike is down, but they had control of A. It got traded back out. I have as Guman gets one, I, I honestly, I miss who got the other kill. But they had hookah control. They had A site control. They didn't commit to either because the spike was back in spawn. And now they're going to have to redo it again. Mm. And NRG is getting really stumped. I mean, there's no other way to put this. They are getting outmaneuvered, I think, on their attacking side here. And even when they're finding some success either over at showers or it's almost like they're moving too quickly, you know, even with whatever fakes they're throwing and, and whatever they're reacting to, they just aren't all on the same page right now. Despite the heroics of EU and now Sam at you all, this is a one on three. It's like the planet. use of the dart there to work around the omen smoke to get the information that he needed. Sam had a chance to do something special there. Bakusta, the man you called out at the beginning of the series. Get EU still trying to stick the plant. Spike it's planted. still a 5v5, folks. This thing's going to be bloody. Sean holding this angle down. And I love how energy play this to get the spike down. You already see a couple of members back off because they have the 100 fear of the own. Well, they had it. EU drops. Energy's able to get one. It gets traded back out. Energy's just down to three. Sam trying to fire through the smoke, trying to keep back the defenses of Gen G as they try to get this site down. Keep a close eye on Energy's members right now. They have what be long control. They have hookah control as well, but they've got to bust. Last here, Gen G. Gen G picking them apart. It's just going to drop things to 1v1. Dabs through the smokes, gets a 3k and yes. wins the round for NRG. In that round, like you said, could be the game deciding round of this match. You know, he delivers. Joe Stopper immediately down short. Sean finds one on infinite. And now NRG's chances oh, no. of winning this game are just getting decimated, Doug. Yeah, they went from, from slim to, to almost none here very quickly. A couple of early picks, a couple of early ultimate usage, and that gets them exactly what they want. A, a narrow miss there from win, but again, Genji has full control here. They have the numbers advantage. They, they're they pushing NRG around here. They're forcing them to play on Genji's pace. Yeah, and honestly, this half is broken down for NRG in a few different ways that we'll talk about in a second, but the short push is coming out. Uh, they got a three on five scenario on, on map point. You know, the spike must be planted here. There's no going back off of this, and immediately Sean finds the first goose to the second. Now it's you in a 1v4, Doug. I have the spike. Okay. So he manages to get one. He's got the spike. He doesn't have any armor to work with. Has some utility. But this is a tough, tough spot to be in. See if he takes the telly out and tries to flip the map. But he, again, there is, he, there is 
a member of Gen G on the opposite side as well. So it's not like that's safe either. Defenders Ooh. win. Side. Right. And some teams approach it a little differently. Sometimes the workflow goes from making contact, and here it is at long A, wow. and then falling back to the links. But Som with the running frenzy at range finds the opener. And oh it's my just gosh, a... it's another banger of a pistol round. They got the first pick, and then they paranoia. They fully send through a short E who gets three on the round. Pay long. They have a couple of members just on the cusp. Genji, again, like we talked about, they kind of have to play retake here. Kusta's going to be up in heaven. They're going to get some information thanks to the dart. But now the members of Genji are starting to rotate. Keep a close eye on the Cypher on Infinite from NRG. He's left. on that flank, and that can be devastating if he gets there in time. But he's got to get on his horse, baby. You got to go. Yeah, and I well watched a Gen G vod of them playing on Haven last night, and I was impressed with Kusta's play at A here. And already he's finding more success. Okay, as I say that, the A site is capitulating, and the post plan is so successful that we're down to a one on one, Doug. But NRG managed to pull that one off. We talked about the economical implications of that, and so, so far, Genji doesn't seem to care. Sean with an opener on the Sheriff already. That's always fun. There are some... I think this is kind of like, as we're talking about, as we were earlier, speaking about weapon balance, whatever. The Sheriff is one of those weapons in this game where in the right hands, you just... It's terrifying. Sean opening things up immediately with a hot headshot. Yeah, it's an 800 credit op in the hands of some <laughs> folks. But okay, real quick, I, I want to bring attention to this. Look at how NRG have played this. They get the spike down back C. So there are a few things at play. Number one, they have an open sight line from C long. So they can just spam their way into it regardless of what utility is in front of them. And the Hunter's Fury is there as well to see how it's going to be equalized. Mikhail goes first. It's traded back out by EU as he's trying to fend things off. They managed to get it to halftime. The run it back was used as well. NRG just down to two members left, but they're trying to fight back. Genji goes deep, goes all the way in, mm. and they manage to break the hold. They get to retake a five on four with Spike going down at C. That's off a death. Yes, though. yes, yes. Yes, freaking A, I love that. He gets the opening pick, he pulls off, but he knows exactly where that default spite is. The From the Shadows was used to get him onto the backside. Again, they've planted there three times now, so he's just able to bang through the box and get another pick with the Operator. Wind played that so well, energy's just down to two members left. No left. Yeah, and that was just so well played. You One called it, Doug. Man, you set that round up so perfectly for Wind to pop off, and there's three, his third of the defense of Genji. Oh, it didn't, it didn't have nearly the same bang that it had the first time around, and it got traded as Sean used his own. Kusta was still on the back of the site. He gets one before dropping. NRG and Gen G tied up left. here at three apiece. Som is going to get the spike down. And you imagine without a Hunter's Fury here, they're just, they're not deciding to fully pull off or do anything like that. They want to stay close to the site, force Gen G to push into them, and that's exactly what they do. Wynn gets another one with the op. Energy's just down to shake. He's going to get banked into that wall. A 3k for Mikael. Gen G looking good as they get the defuse. They're keeping this thing close. And again, it's regarded by in competition, at least, a, an attacker sided map, of course. But Wynn, who, who you highlighted, man, early on in this game. That threat of his operator, even though this is an eco, like this is just so annoying to deal with. And I infinite mean, falls as well, man. There's just nothing is safe, right? Like nothing. there's nowhere you can go. And what I love about it is he's we saw him see long, we saw him hold B. Now it is more common as he gets as he gets three. Yeah, give give the guy the ace at this point. He's earned it. Um on an eco, right, for the attacking team, it's more common to play. Ooh. Cleaned up. Yeah, that was that was pretty. So sorry. Uh, on an eco, it's common for the attacking team to play B, playing right now. But keep a close eye on the flank. Right, EU's going to use that Hunter's Fury to try to clear out some space, but the clock continues to tick away. Mikael using the drone. The blade swim is going to be used as well. Win from the top rope. Not go. Oh, I think he saw a sliver. Just just the tiniest sliver. But Lex, they're they're going to have to go here. They're running out of time. I don't know that this is even possible at this point. G GMD actually, they have to go huge, and they do. They quite literally do, and, and I'm not sure if they're whether. Oh, Doug. <sighs> We're talking like yeah, okay, a little over half a second. Like that was really in the hands of Win. 
Good curveball there. The Frenzy has been eliminated by Frenzy on the other side. A song gets that opening pick. NRG looking good here in the second round. Oh, this fight went with the extremely beneficial to the side of Gen G. Any more frags would be great. There's only going to be one. Yeah, just one. Yeah. Shock Dark finds it. And really, in that instance, Energy has no choice but to respect it. They back up, and now they're going to try to fight back. Sam's going to use his own right back, but he gets caught as soon as he swings around the corner. Genji have managed to establish control of the site here. Energy fighting to take back. The nice thing for them is that they have resources on opposite sides. They can push in from A-Link, and they can push in from C-Link. Sam's already able to get one. Shanks with the op. Looking to see if he can pick anyone off. That that window, that B window spot can be so devastating if held well. But that's the thing. Infinite's going to get it to half. And then they swing. He has to be. He has to back off. But Energy still had a chance here again. It's the Spam Wars. Energy's just down to one. Infinite with 22 health left. He's just such a brutal spot. Gen G take the round. This is making me not necessarily worried for the entire side of NRG, but Gen G is just... Coming up with answer after answer, and certainly right here, that A aggression is just shut down. NG coming out clean, five on two now. Yeah, and I love I love how Energy played it. Again, understanding they didn't have the gun advantage. They tried to throw something something different, a little spice, right, to try to catch them off guard. But NG just, NRG, or Genji, excuse me, NG, what am I saying? They handle it super well, uh, and they're able to pick NRG apart. They, they almost, again, Wind's just anchoring C long, but the spike still has a close minute. Sam has a chance at something here. That's a big kill. They've gotten the spike okay. down. They know exactly where to go. He's going to swing, but GMD responds as he gets one. EU trades it back out, back and forth as, as these two teams continue to trade blows. The spike is still down back in the spawn, and NRG smells blood in the water. They've already got two members pushed all the way up, but Gen G has a couple of those waiting on the other side. Win just does not miss with that op left. as he gets onto Shanks. NRG down to two members left. The aggression that was there has, has kind of hit a, a bump in the road, right? And they can't really find the way in. Of course, as I say that, EU gets one. Kusta trades it out. Get Last out one way. left is Daps. And he's, he's so, I mean, he's in a different time zone right now from where the rest of the play is. <laughs> now Gen G are going to work their way up onto B. He's got to get the spike. Dabs one has a chance. Remaining. Dabs gets one. Drops things down to 1v1. The spike's going to go down. He's got that paranoid. The swing, it was there. It connected. But the blade storm was there. The blade storm slices and dices. Win gets the clutch of 3k. It's the infinite hanging around garage window and C-Link. And what that means is these A players get to stay on these angles and stay on the right. site. And the B players get to do the same. And right now this execute is going into three members of NRG at least. At the bare minimum, you gotta hit these gun gunfights immediately and win them. And GMD does find two, but he's now in a one on two of his own for the 4K to win. And 10 seconds left, Doug. Not sure he's gonna get the ability to spike town in time Ooh. and from the shadows gets sh set up to where B and A were not an option. They wanted them to go C for that 5v5 retake. Infinite gets a big one. He's gonna use that neural theft as well to give everything away. Genji does not have any ultimates that can cause problems like the Orbital Strike or the Hunter's Fury from downtown. NRG looking really good on this retake here, but they've gotta execute Shanks once again on the flank with the shorty. He gets one. He's got that operator as well. Win, however. Win, baby! He gets another one. Shot on with the sheriff see all the members funnel over towards a which is exactly where gen g is and again with 20 seconds left they don't have much of a choice they're gonna have to commit to this one kumon gets one he gets a second one as well there's the hunter's fury coming out of mikhail's is trying to clear things out but win gets in on the action as well once again with the operator nrg's just down to eu he's got a measly seven health to work with and he's, he's got a gun so he's gonna hightail it the heck out of dodge try to bring that bad boy into the next round Things My went sideways for NRG very quickly. There. My ult's not ready. Indeed. And NRG looking as though My they may ready. be on their last legs of this My half. You, you know, My saving this ready. Phantom will be a benefit for sure in the coming My round. Not ready. The question of whether <laughs> and it breaks my heart, man. That's all. <laughs> and immediately the long aggression shut down. That's Shanks, who's just gotten destroyed on this so many times. It Genji's keyed in on it. They know that he likes to do that. Energy gets punished immediately. Five on four now. Genji on match point, essentially. Yeah, it was interesting. Daps used that from the shadows. He got back towards C, that back corner, uh, and then canceled it out. Could have had a chance to get behind it, but Sam with the singer, they were able to get one. They're going to use that, run it back. 
So he tries to get some more space, and you see members of Gen.G just having to back up. Nothing, nothing quite gathered yet, and he got some info, but that unfortunately was it. The spike hasn't made its way onto A yet either. That was awkward. Canceled the reload animation, pulled the stinger back out. We're glad there's no bullets. John finds one on infinite, four on three, and there's two wounded players from Genji. Still doable for NRG, Doug. It is, and that's certainly, I mean, that's is. certainly going to help. Yeah, Sean drops. You see when with not much health to work with either, but they're going to get onto the site. They're going to get onto C, and now it's on NRG. You don't want to go through the loser's bracket. You don't want to deal with that gauntlet. You've got to retake C here. Unfortunately, for the side of NRG, they're still... Not a lot of advantageous weaponry yeah. positioning. There's no flank coming in. One enemy remaining. This is looking all but wrapped for Gen G at this point. You've got Michael and GMD all dabs. playing this post plant pretty solid. And Daps, who's no stranger to the clutch and has come up big a few times today.